بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين العاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد الحمد لله we continue going over the hadith of Jibreel reading from the explanation of the, of the Fadilah to Shaykh Al-Allama, Shaykh Saleh Al-Fawzan, Hafizahullah Ta'ala. Last week we spoke about one of the levels of Al-Ihsan. And we explained that Ihsan itself is one pillar. And that pillar is as described by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said, أن تعبد الله كأنك تراه فإن لم تكن تراه فإنه يراك. That is to worship Allah as if you see Him and if you do not see Him then verily He sees you. This is the pillar of Ihsan has one pillar. But Ihsan is of two different levels. The first level is Al Mushahada, and that is in the first part of the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he said. And تَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ To worship Allah as if you see Him. This is the first level. And this is what we spoke about in the last class. So in today's class, بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى We would like to begin by going into the second level. So the Fadilah to the Shaykh Al-Allama, حَفِظَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى He says, وَبَعْدَهَا مَرْتَبَةٌ قَالَ فِيهَا صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ فَإِنْ لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ He said, and after it, then there is a level in which the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he said with regards to it, and if you do not see him, فَإِنْ لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ If you do not see him, يعني لم تصل إلى هذه الدرجة من اليقين meaning you haven't reached this level the first level of al-mushahada, you haven't reached the sincerity and the certainty rather. You haven't reached the certainty that is needed to attain such a level. So if you have not reached that level that you worship Allah, if you see Him, فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاك Then verily He sees you. Then verily He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He sees you. A تُؤْمِنُ بِالطِّلَاعِ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكِ Meaning that you believe that Allah Ta'ala is watching you. He's observing you. وَهَذِهِ أَقَلُّ مِنَ الْأُولَى And this is of a less degree than the first one. So we understand that what? That the second degree of Ihsan is less than the first degree. So what is the higher of the two levels? Then it will be to worship Allah as if you see Him. That will be the higher of the two levels. Naam. Tayyib. The Shaykh he says, فَتَعْبُدُهُ مُؤْمِنًا بِأَنَّهُ يَطَّلِعُ عَلَيْكَ وَيَرَاكَ فِي جَمِيعِ تَصَرُّفَاتِكَ He said, So thus, you worship him fully believing that he is observing you, he is watching you, and that he sees all of your movements. فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاك Then verily he sees you. يعني اعتقد بالقلبك أو بقلبك واستحضر أن الله يراك ويطلع عليك. He said, then this means that believe. يعني هابي عقيدة. Believe with the true and sound belief with your heart that Allah Ta'ala and be aware of the fact that Allah Ta'ala he sees you. And that he is observing you. وَهَذِهِ مُرْتَبَةٌ عَظِيمَةٌ لَا شَكٌ And this murtaba, this level, is, is a great level. So by saying that it's less than the first, it doesn't diminish the fact that it's still great in itself. It's a great level. It's not as great as the first level, but it's still a great level nonetheless. It's a very, very great level. Naam. So the shaykh, he says, and this is a great level without any doubt. Naam. وَهِيَ تُسَمَّى مُرْتَبَةُ الْمُرَاقَبَةُ And this is what is called... Al-Muraqaba is called Al-Muraqaba. So the first level is Al-Mushahada. The second one is Al-Muraqaba. 
Al-Muraqabah Naam, this is the second level Muraqabatullah That Allah Ta'ala is watching Allah Ta'ala, He sees what you're doing Naam Walakinnaha aqallu min al-ula But the muraqaba is less than al-mushahada Al-mushahada is when a person has reached the level of yaqeen The level of iman The level of, of uh, certainty And the level of faith that he worships Allah as if he sees him This is al-mushahada Wal-muraqaba is that a person He has not necessarily reached the level Where he worships, worships Allah as if he sees him, but rather he is constantly aware that Allah is watching him. He's constantly aware that Allah is watching him. He's observing him. He hears what he's saying, knows what he's doing, and the like. And this is called al muraqaba which is a, an extremely high level in and of itself, nonetheless. However, it is less than the first level. فَلْ إِحْسَانُ بَيْنَ الْعَبْدِ وَبَيْنَ رَبِّهِ هُوَ ما بينه الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم في هذا الحديث. He says so the the ihsan that is between Allah and his or between the abd and his lord between the abd and between Allah that this type of ihsan is that which the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he explained and clarified in this hadith and that is to worship Allah as if you see him and if you do not see him then verily he sees you. This is what it means to have ihsan between the slave and between his lord Jalla wa'ana. Wa anna al-mu'min ya'budu Allah ala al-yaqeen wal iman. And the mu'min, the believer, he worships Allah upon certainty and upon faith, upon iman. Amma al-yaqeen al-ladhi yaj'alu al-abda ka'annahu yara Allah. Either with the certainty that will render the slave as if he sees Allah. أو اليقين الذي يستحضر به العبد أن الله مطلع عليه ومشاهد لأعماله Or it will be with the type of certainty of which the slave he knows that Allah Ta'ala is watching him and that Allah Ta'ala observes what he is doing observes and watches his action فَلَا يَنْحَرِفُ عَنْ طَاعَتِهِ So he will not, the level where he understands Allah Ta'ala is constantly watching him. You can imagine now, this individual, he will not infringe and go away from the obedience of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. He won't infringe upon the rules and regulations of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala because he realizes that what Allah Ta'ala is watching. Naam. So you'll find that, 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 that the, the akhta, you will find that the mistakes of this person will be a lot less. A lot less. Yes, he's going to make sins because all the children of Adam make sins. But you will find that his sins is going to be a lot less. Why? Because he reached his very high level of Iman. So the Shaykh, he says, فَإِذَا حَرَفَ أَوْ أَخْطَأَ And if he makes a mistake, or and he goes away from the obedience, he falls into a sin, he falls into something he shouldn't be doing. The one who is aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching him. فَإِنَّهُ يَتُوبُ إِلَى اللَّهِ Then he will make tawbah to Allah ta'ala. He will make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. نعم. لَأَنَّهُ يَعْلَمُ أَنَّ اللَّهِ يَغْفِرُ ذُنُوبًا فَلَا يَقْنَطُ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ He will make tawbah to Allah because he knows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives the sins. And he will not despair. From the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. For insanu laysa ma'asuman. Because human beings, they are not infallible. They're going to make sins. They're going to make mistakes. وَلَكَنْ إِذَا حَصَلَ مِنْهُ مُخَالَفَةٌ فَإِنَّهُ يُبَادِرُ Very important word right here. So if he makes a mistake and it comes to him, something which is contrary to what he should be doing, فَإِنَّهُ يُبَادِرُ then verily he yubadiru. He is quick with tawbah. He is quick to make the tawbah. Yubadiru bi tawbati illallah. He is quick to make the tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's not a person that's going to delay his tawbah. Nah, he's not a person that's going to delay the tawbah. Ah. Likewise, he's not a person who brings the tawbah that's, that's already ready. 
Uh, there's a toba. The only man they, call, they, they, they name it a, 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 a ready toba. A ready toba. This toba is ready. What's the ready toba? The ready toba, as the only man they explain, is like when an individual before doing a sin says, you know what? I'm going to do the sin and then I'll make the toba after. And what they say? Toba, that's ready. Huh? <laughs> nah, it's not. It's not. So this is why the Ulema they say la yanfa a toba al jahiza. That it's the ready toba don't it don't benefit. The person say yeah I'm about to I'm about to you know about to do this crime right now but I'm gonna make toba after. When I get home with the with the with the with the spoils of my crime, then I'm gonna make toba. Then I'm gonna make toba. I'm gonna give something. I'm gonna pray more. I'm gonna fast more. Next Monday. Thursday, inshallah. But right now, I'm about to tighten up the hoodie and go rob these people. Yeah? No, no, no. That toba, la yanfa. La yanfa. So you won't find the one who's Muhsin doing stuff like that. No, no, you won't find that. But if he falls into an error, he makes a mistake. He makes a mistake. He falls into an error. Then you will find that he will, his toba will be quick. He'll be he'll quickly make toba. Why? Because he is one who. Knows that Allah Ta'ala is watching him Allah Ta'ala is observing him and the like So he will be He will hasten to Tawbah Naam He will hasten to Tawbah فَإِنَّهُ يُبَادِرُ بِالتَّوْبَةِ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَيَعْلَمُ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَتُوبُ عَلَى مَنْ تَاب He would be quick to make Tawbah to Allah Because he knows that Allah Forgives the one who, who asks for forgiveness Naam وَلَا يَأْخُذُهُ الْقُنُوطُ And he will not uh, be overtaken by despair. Well, yet so, and this, yani despair. Mirahmatillah. He won't be one who gives up hope, and 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 he despairs from the mercy of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. فلا يتلاعب به الشيطان حتى ييأس من رحمة الله هذا هو الإحسان. He will and see. This is from the benefits now of the Ihsan from one of the benefits of the Ihsan is that when a person has reached his level of ihsan, لا يتلاعب به الشيطان Shaytan will not be able to play with him. Because see, shaytan, he comes and he plays with the sinners. He plays with the sinners until he makes them give up hope in the mercy of Allah. Makes them give up hope that they can be forgiven. This is what the shaytan, how he plays with the people who have not reached his level. Whereas those who have reached his level of ihsan, the shaytan can't play with them. The shaytan can't come to them and say, well, you done done so much bad. Forget it. Why even try? You know you're going to do it again. Right? Because the muhsin, he knows that Allah Ta'ala forgives. Those who ask for forgiveness, the muhsin, he knows. If you make a mistake, you turn it around. You make tawbah to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. This is what you do. And they never give up hope in the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So the shaytan, he can't attack the muhsin from this way. He can't attack the muhsin from this direction. So this is one of the benefits and one of the safeties and protections when individuals reach this level of al ihsan Naam. Fadalla had al hadith ala an al deen yatafadal. So this hadith it points us to the fact that the deen it has different levels. Has different levels. Some levels that are better than the other level. Naam. So that shows us that what? That not every Muslim is on the same level. So that therein is a refutation on the murji'ah who say that each and every one of us have the same level of iman. Like Jibra'il, wa Mika'il, wa Anbiya, wa Rusul, alayhumu salatu wa salam. But each of us got the same iman like Jibra'il and Mika'il and all of the, the prophets and the messengers. A'udhu billah. We know this is not correct. Why? Because not every Muslim is on the same level of, 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 uh, of the deen. Not every Muslim is on the same level. Not every Muslim is, is, is a muhsin. You don't find every Muslim reach the level of ihsan. Naam. So it's important to know and to understand that there are different levels. So this gives the, the mu'min something what to aspire for. To aspire to reach the level of ihsan. To aspire to reach this, the high level of iman. To the point where we worship Allah Ta'ala as if we see Him. Naam. Because that's, that's, uh, that's a level of certainty that is unmatched. Right? Because, it's like the Shaykh he mentioned in the last uh, week's dars, will be read from, that this type of yaqeen 
is like you're looking at the wall. You have no doubt the wall is there. Your certainty in the wall being there is certain because you see it. Ma'am, the certainty of the door being there is certain because you see it. Now, to have this level of iman that a person has certainty in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like this or beyond is something that we all have to aspire for, something we all have to strive for, to reach that level that we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if we see him. Naam. So, ala kullin, the shaykh, he says, so, so this hadith, it points us to the fact that, 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 that the deen is on different levels, the different levels. وَأَنَّ بَعْضَهُ أَعْظَمُ مِنْ بَعْضُ And that some of them, some of the levels are, are more great than other levels. فَأَوْلْ مُرَاتَبٍ and the first of his levels نعم فأول مراتبه هي الإسلام the first level is Islam right the first level is الإسلام وهو الإنقياد لله عز وجل and this is to be compliant to Allah عز وجل وهو على قسمين and it is upon two two types the Islam is upon two types نعم he mentions the first type and it's the only one that benefits you Islam معه إيمان the person brings the outward actions, but he has also belief. Naam. And then what we understand from this, the shaykh, he doesn't articulate it because it's understood. And the other type is what? Without the iman. They show outward actions, but, but they don't have no belief in the heart. So that what? That don't benefit them. Because this is, the, this is what the characteristics of a hypocrite. This is nifaq. So that don't benefit them. Naam. So the only Islam that benefits you is the, is the Islam with iman. This is an important point to mention because there is no Islam without Iman. I know we spoke about this before, but it's important that we understand that. So some people think, oh, he goes from being a mu'min to a Muslim. Cave How? What are you talking about? He goes from a mu'min to a Muslim? What are you talking about? He's still a, he's still a mu'min, he's still got an Iman. May not be complete Iman, but he has Iman. So what are you talking about? Oh, he, well, he got no Iman, but he got Islam? Nah. Some people think like that though because they don't understand. And they use this, and they use the proof that the Sheikh he, he, he explains correctly to show this is not the case. It's not no such thing, no such thing as this concept. Naam. The reality is that what every every Muslim he has iman. He's a mu'min. He has iman. Naam. So like when you when you read the ayat, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, O you who believe, those who believe are who mu'minun. Okay. So what are we saying now? These ayat don't apply to him. He just a Muslim. Ah, he ain't a mu'min. You know what I mean? No, this is the mu'min meeting. Come back at 5.30. That's the Muslim meeting. SubhanAllah. What kind of foolishness is this? Huh? But some people believe incorrectly. So it's important to note that the Islam that benefits is what? The Islam with Iman. Islam without Iman is what? Ain't not Islam. It's not Islam. The people who act like they Muslim, but they don't believe in their chest. What are they in reality? In reality, they are what? Munafiq. Munafiqun. The hypocrites. But they show the Islamic uh, actions, right? But they don't believe in their heart. So is that going to benefit them? Your Muqiyamah? No. Allah Ta'ala says they're going to be the lowest part of the hellfire. Lowest part of the hellfire. So the real Islam, the real Islam, the only real Islam is Islam that has with it Iman. Iman. Naam. And people have different levels of Iman. Some people have a little bit of Iman. Some people have a lot of Iman. So on and so forth. Naam. But ala kullin. The Shaykh, he says, Islam ma'ahu Iman. سواء كان قليلا أو كثيرا the Islam has with it faith whether that faith is little or a lot وهذا الإسلام المؤمنين and this, this is the Islam of the believers that's the Islam of the believers whereas the Islam that don't have with it faith is the Islam of who? the hypocrites, the kuffar not the hypocrites more, more yani precisely because the hypocrites they kuffar no doubt now but who do you, the ones who act like they're Muslim but they're not really Muslim? Hypocrites. Okay? But the Islam of the who? The Mu'minun, right? Has with it belief. Naam. Wa huwa al Islam al Sahih al yuthabu alayhi. And this is the true Islam that you are rewarded for, or they are rewarded for. Wa huwa Islam al ma'hu iman yu sahihu. Wa law kana qaleelan. And this is the Islam that has with the Iman Which makes it correct Even if it's a little bit Because in order for the Islam to be correct It has to have what? Iman Even if it's only a little bit of Iman It gotta have Iman Even if it's just a little bit of Iman That's what's gonna make it correct Without that Iman Even if it's only a little bit 
It's not correct. So what's going to make the Islam correct is that he got Iman. Even if the Iman is only a little bit. Now, when he have a Allah Ta'ala. And for this Allah Ta'ala, he says, and this is what these people, they try to twist this ayah. They try to twist the ayah. And to make you think like, oh, you could be a Muslim, but you ain't a mu'min. Because they don't understand. These people jahil, they don't know. Huh? Allah Ta'ala, he says, قَالَتِ الْأَعْرَابُ آمَنَّا The A'rab. Allah Ta'ala he says that the Arab, the, the the Bedouins, they say, we have believed. And then you will understand what is meant by Amanna, what they intended by Amanna, inshaAllah Ta'ala, shortly. So Allah Ta'ala, he goes on to say, قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَكِنْ قُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا this is in Surah Al-Hujarat, verse 14. And now you're going to understand too a little later what is meant by Lam Tu'minu. Naam. Because these, these Juhan, these ignorant ones, Naam, they try to make it they, they try to make you understand and believe that when it said you you have not believed yet. Huh? You've not believed yet, meaning that they didn't have no iman. That's not what it means. We're going to see what it means for real, inshaAllah ta'ala. It says, don't say that you have, and I'm going to just leave it. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, get too far ahead. So I'm just going to leave it like we ordinarily hear it. Then we'll explain. It says, uh, do not say you have believed, but rather say you have submitted. Rather say you have submitted. Now, the Shaykh, he says, لَيْسَ مَعْنَ هَذَا أَنَّ هَؤُلَى الْأَعْرَابُ نَافِقِينَ He said, this don't mean that those Bedouins, that they were hypocrites, وَلَكِنْ مَعْنَاهُ أَنَّهُمْ لَمْ يَتَكَامَلْ عِنْدَهُمُ الْإِيمَانِ He said, but rather this means that they have not, or they don't have complete iman. You understand? So now we go back. So now we understand what it really means. So now if you go back and you read the ayah, you understand correctly now. وَقَالَتِ الْأَعْرَابُ آمَنَّا And the A'rab, the better ones say, we have complete belief. That's what it means, complete belief. So Allah Ta'ala says, قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا So say to them, you don't have complete belief. But rather say to them, you have accepted Islam and you believe. That's what the ayat means. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it means. So when you look at it from this standpoint, is there such a thing as a Muslim who's not a mu'min? <laughs> no. No. It's not possible. You understand? But they try to use this ayah to say, no, this ayah is a proof. No, the ayah is not a proof. In fact, the ayah is a proof against you. Because Allah Ta'ala is affirming that what? Yes, they have iman, but it's not complete. And then what? They're saying that we have complete iman. So Allah Ta'ala censoring that statement because they don't have complete iman yet. 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 Aha. Naam. And we're going to see that, inshallah. But yeah. The Shaykh, says, وَهُمْ إِدَّعُوا منزلة لم يصلوا إليها حينما قالوا آمنا. The Shaykh he says, and this is because they were uh, what's the word you say? They were perpetrating, or they were uh, claiming. Nam, better word. They were claiming a level that they had yet to reach. They were claiming a level when they said we had complete iman. Amanna, complete, complete iman. They were claiming a level they had yet to reach. Naam. Fellow qalu aslamna. So they should have said, We have submitted. We believers, we've submitted. Not complete iman, but we have iman and we submitted ourselves in Islam. Naam. Lakana hadha huwa ta'abir salim. If they would have said, We have submitted. We have iman and we submit it. Then this would have been more appropriate. Naam. Wulihada. And for this, قال الله تعالى ولكن قولوا أسلمنا. And because they didn't come with the proper statement, Allah Ta'ala, He says, No, rather, they should say, We have accepted the Islam. We believe in Islam. We've accepted it and we submitted ourselves with, with belief. But not complete belief. Naam. Then Allah Ta'ala, He says, 
Because this gives you more insight as to the situation of these Bedouins. More insight. And, it, and it's a further refutation of those who come with this concept. You can, you can, you can be a, a Muslim and not a Mu'min. Yeah. Then Allah Ta'ala He says Allah Ta'ala He says And Iman Has yet to enter into your heart That's the, what the ordinary translation you hear right But what do we understand from that Based on everything The complete Iman has yet to enter into your heart Because you got Iman Right? I mean, you can't be a Muslim if you don't got Iman. Right? If you don't got Iman, you can't be a Muslim. But So the mere fact that they accepted Islam, then it shows that what? That you got Iman in your heart, but it's not complete yet. It's not complete yet. So the Shaykh, he says, Lemma, breaking down the words now, because the word uses, Lemma, Lemma, then Mustaqbal. This is for the future. You use the word Lemma for the future. Naam. Tayyip. He says, Lil Mustaqbal, Alladhi Laysa Mawjoodan Al An for the future that's not present right now. Well I can know Sayujad. It's not present right now, but it's going to happen in the future. You understand? It's, it's not complete right now. It will be complete later. But it's not complete right now. So when a person understands the ayah correctly, see this is why we have to study the Quran. This is why. When a person understands the ayah correctly, then he understands that what? That yes, they have been censored because they claimed a level that they had yet to reach. But at the same time, they were also what? Given a glad tidings by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the shaykh, he says, فَاللَّهُ بَشَّرُهُمْ بِأَنَّ الْإِيمَانِ سَيَدْخُلُوا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ فِي الْمُسْتَقْبَلِ اَيْ كَامِلًا Allah ta'ala gave them a glad tidings that iman will enter into their hearts later completely. That their iman will be completed later. Not complete now, but later yes. It will be complete. So that is what? That is a, 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 a glad tiding for them. Yes, they will put back in their place. But at the same time, given a glad tiding. Not yet. You have not reached that level yet. But you will. But you will. Allahu Akbar. So now when a person understands the ayah now. Now, anybody who tries to use the ayah to say, Oh, you could be a Muslim, but not a mu'min. We understand that is erroneous. That, that shows to us clearly, you do not understand this ayah. Because that's not what this ayah is talking about. It's now what his eye is talking about. Naam. Ala kullan. The shaykh he says, Wa yaqwa imanuhum shay'an ba'da shay'. And you understand from this what? That the iman will be something that will get stronger. Put, yani, it will um, gradually get stronger and stronger and strong. Shay'an ba'da shay'. Gradually it will get stronger and stronger and stronger. Naam. Wa la kinnahum ista'jalu. But they were hasty at the beginning of the affair. وَقَالُوا آمَنَّا But we get in the affair, they were hasty and they say, no, we got complete iman right now. They were hasty in that statement. وَهُمْ إِدَّعُوا مَنْزِلَةً لَمْ يَصِلُوا إِلَيْهَا And they claimed a level that they didn't reach. فَلِذَلِكَ أَنْكَرَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ So for this reason, Allah disapproved of what they have done. So we understand and we take benefit from this, that we are not to claim levels that we have not reached. This is this is this is something that is la uh, yajuz. It's not permissible in Islam. It's not permissible to claim a level you didn't reach, to claim a status that you have not attained. So when they have claimed this status that they didn't attain, Allah Taala He disapproved of that. And he censored them because of that. Naam. And this is something which should make us more humble. It should increase our humility. And it should increase our consciousness and our fear of doing something or saying something that Allah Ta'ala disproves of. And not claiming levels that we don't have. And this is a problem, especially in the West, and I'm sure in the East, in the North and South as well, where you have individuals who claim levels they don't, they don't deserve, they don't have. Perpetrators, perpetrating a fraud, making the people think that they really big, and they, they, in reality they're really, really little, they're really, really small. 
Because how many of individuals who we find people saying about them, Shaykh? Naam, Shaykh, Shaykh so and so. Shaykh Hamza Yusuf. Oh. Ya Salam. Kev. Shaykh. Shaykh what? Sufiya. Bid'a. Bolala. Huh? He's not a Shaykh. He's not a Shaykh. He's an ignoramus. He's not a Shaykh. Shaykh Zaid Shaq. Shaykh what? Sufiya. He's not a Shaykh. Naam. Shaykh Yusuf Estes. <laughs> Naam. What do people say? Shaykh. Min ajhal al nas. In reality, he's from the most ignorant of the people. It's not a Shaykh. They use the word so loosely. And then, as opposed to the people understanding this ayah, anyone understand this ayah? Someone says Shaykh. And he think for a second, they really mean like Shaykh, Shaykh? Put him in his place. Shaykh al-Bani Rahimullah ta'ala And his humbleness And Shaykh al-Bani was a Shaykh He was a Shaykh Naam He was not just Shaykh He was Alama Okay He was from Kibar Ulama He was from Kibar Ulama Alama He was an Imam in our time He was he was an individual who The Shuyukh would call Right You know what I mean He was from the The Shuyukh would call People who we call Will call him Naam is Alama, Imam, Imam, Rahimullah Ta'ala. Well, at that time when the uh, announcer overpraised him, right? Did the Shaykh, you know, pump his chest out like, yeah, tell him, right? Did he do that? Let him know. No, he didn't do that because of humility. And out, of, and out of fear of claiming a level that you, that you don't deserve. You understand? What happened? The Shaykh, he began to cry. He began to cry. And then he made the dua. Like what Abu Bakr, the Siddiq, radiallahu ta'ala anhu used to make. He said, Al-Humma, la, la, ta'khuduni, bima yaqulun. Oh Allah, don't seize me because of what they're saying. وَجْعَلْنِي خَيْرًا مِمَّا يَظُنُّونَ And make me better than what they think. Make me better than what they think. نَعَمْ وَاغْفِرْ لِي بِمَا لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And forgive me for what they don't know about. Forgive me for what they don't know about. They don't know about me. And he cried. He cried. And this was the imam. So how can we stand now? How can we stomach to see ignoramuses who are upon bid'ah, who are upon dalala, and people say about them sheikh, and they put on their ghutra, or their amama, and they, and they wear their bisht, and they, and they prance around like they sheikh. They ain't no sheikh. This is a tragedy. And I don't know what's worse. That these ignoramuses are perpetrating this fraud or that the people are so ignorant that they really think that they shaykh, that they shayukh. Allah musta'an. Ala kullin, it is not appropriate. It is not permissible in Islam to claim a level that you don't have. It's not. So let us be mindful of this. So when they did this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He he, 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 uh, disproved of what they have done. وَبَيَّنَا أَلَّائِقَ بِهِمْ And he made it clear that which is more appropriate for them. وَأَنَّ الْإِنسَانِ لَا يُكَمِّلُ نَفْسَهُ وَيَدَّعِي شَيْئًا لَمْ يَصِلْ إِلَيْهِ And a person, he's not going to perpetrate like he's complete in something and then claim something, uh, claim a level that he has not reached. This is not what you do. A person claiming a level he not reached. Making himself complete, completing himself. Oh yeah, I'm the best doctor now. He just graduated from from med school. No, I'm the best doctor. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. It's not. This is not Islamic. It's not Islamic behavior. No, it's not Islamic behavior. Period. Paul, Allah Taala says, "Walakin qulu aslamna, walamma yadkhul al-iman fi qulubikum." 
but rather say that we have submitted, we have accepted the Islam, and we believe we accepted Islam. You accepted Islam with iman, naam. However, faith, complete faith, we understand, right? Complete faith has not entered into your hearts yet. Walam yaqul Allah Taala. He did not say lam tu minu. He didn't say lam. Allah Taala did not use the word lam. He didn't say lam tu minu. Right? Bel qala walamma. But rather Allah Taala he says walamma. He didn't say lam. He said lamma. What farq bina lamma wa bina lam 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 mim. So you spell it lam mim. Lam linafi al mutlaq. This is a complete negation. Okay, if you say lam, that's a complete negation showing what? If it, if we say lam tu minu, that means what? You don't believe, period. Lam, right? Lam mean means what? You don't believe, period. You have yet to believe, period. You understand? But Allah didn't say that. Allah used the word lamma. Now lamma, that means what? Here, linafi al muakkad. So it's nafi. Well, like it's nafi al muakkad. So it's, a, it's, 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 it's only negating something temporarily. Temporarily. It's not in totality. Just temporarily. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay? So by the, the usage and the precision of the, of the words themselves, it also further negates what these individuals are saying. That you can be a Muslim but not a mu'min. Kaif. It's not possible. That word itself, lemma, indicates what? That yes, there's belief. We're not uh, uh, belief has not been negated in totality. There is belief, but it is not complete yet. There's belief, but it's not complete yet. You were claiming it was complete. It's not complete yet. Not yet. Now, I'm, so that shows what that this ayah can't be used like that. So it, the only Islam that benefits is the Islam that has with it iman. So the Muslim is a Muslim mu'min. Muslim mu'min. Person does a major sin, drinking khamar, uh, killing someone, murder, the like, right? This is a Muslim mu'min. What we say about Muslim, greater Muslim mu'min. Ah, we went over that a couple weeks ago, right? Muslim mu'min. He's a Muslim that has iman. It could be a little bit of iman, but in order to be a true Muslim, you gotta have iman. He's a Muslim mu'min. Nah, even though he made a major sin, even though he drank khamar, even though he 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 fornicated, even though he stole, he's a Muslim mu'min. Nah, this is important to know. Nah. وقال أخبرني عن الساعة and then he said, inform me about the hour. Who's the he here? Who's the he? And then he said, inform me about the hour. Who's the he? Jibreel alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ahsant. Naam. Jibreel alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Naam. In the akhir hadith, the shaykh, he says, until the end of the hadith, uh, he says, Lama kana man jumlati arkan al-iman, al-imanu biyawm al-akhir, wa huwa yabda'u bi qiyam al-sa'a, wa nihayat al-dunya. The shaykh, he says, and since it is from the over, yani, since it is from belief in the pillars of Iman, since it is from the pillars of Iman to believe in the last day, and the last day it is that, or the akhir is that which begins with the establishment of the hour and the conclusion of the dunya. The dunya will come to an end. The qiyamu sa'a, who are the haya to dunya, the establishment of the hour, this is the end of the dunya. Naam, the establishment of the hour. Is from the end of the dunya, وَبِدَايَةُ الْآخِرَةِ and is the beginning of the hereafter. فَهُوَ الْأَجْرُ الَّذِي ضَرَبَهُ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى لِحَيَاتِ أو لِهَذِهِ الْحَيَاتِ and this is the time frame in which Allah has given to this uh, life. Allah Taala has given this life a time frame. When that time frame is reached, then this life will come to its conclusion. وَيَنْتَهِ ثُمَّ تَقُومُ الْقِيَامَةِ It will end and then the Day of Judgment will be established. The Day of Standing, meaning the Day of Judgment will be established. 
wal imanu bi dhalika ruknun min arkan al iman and belief in this is a belief from the or is a pillar from the belief of iman fa man shakka fi qiyam al sa'ah whoever doubts or whoever yani has doubt in the establishment of the hour aw taraddada or he's apprehensive aw jahada qiyam al sa'ah or he just denies the last day fa innahu kafirun the one who absolutely denies and disbelieves in the last day then he is a kafir allah ta'ala allah ta'ala he says za'ama ladina kafaru that those who disbelieve claim ah allay yub'athu that they will not be resurrected tul but rather say to them bala wa rabbi la tub'athun but say to them but rather by my lord you will be resurrected thumma and then after that la tunabba'una bima amantu wa dhalika ala allah yasir said but rather you will be resurrected and you will be informed of what you used to do and that is most easy for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you will find that the only ones who disbelieve in the last day then they are who kuffar what's the proof allah ta'ala says za'ama alladhina kafaru za'ama alladhina kafaru allah ta'ala says those who disbelieve those who disbelieve claim alla yub'athu that they won't be resurrected allah ta'ala says qul bala wa rabbi la tub'athun Allah Ta'ala says, no, say, say by your Lord, say to them, uh, say to O Muhammad, no, by my Lord, verily you will most definitely be resurrected. Because the construction of this particular uh, fi'il, fi'il mudari', then this is, this is, yani, with emphasis. La tuba'athunna. This is an emphasis. Naam, this is an emphasis. As the noon here is a noon of emphasis. Extreme emphasis, right? It's saying no. Verily, most definitely, no doubt about it, you will be resurrected. But rather say to them, this is what we understand. La tuba afunna. You understand from that? Not just you will be resurrected. Is is add to it? Most definitely, no doubt, undoubtedly, certainly, for surety, you will most definitely, most definitely be resurrected. No doubt about it. You understand? This is like extreme. Like no, no doubt. You're gonna be, not just gonna be resurrected, but also what? Let's not be on, and you're going to be informed, and you're going to be informed about what be my amal to be what you used to do. Not just going to be resurrected; you're going to be resurrected and held accountable. You will be informed about what you used to do in the dunya. You will be informed. You ain't hiding. You ain't getting away with nothing. You stole something. Ain't nobody seen you. Allah Taala saw you. You will be informed of what you stole on that day, and you're going to have to pay it back. Now, that's it. You oppress somebody, think you got away with it, you ain't get away with it. Allah Ta'ala is going to hold you accountable for it. You're not going to get away, you're never going to get away with nothing. I want everyone to understand that. You're never going to get away with nothing. Any sin you do, Allah knows about it. Allah knows. Those angels that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has put over you to watch you and to write down what you're doing, they wrote it down. They don't sleep on the job. They don't take coffee breaks. Right? It's written down. You going to see. When a person understands this particular point, لا يكفي أن الإنسان يؤمن بيوم الآخر When a person understands this, then he realizes that it's not sufficient that he just believe in the last day. It's not enough that he just believe in the last day. But rather he has to do what? as well bal la budda an ya'mal li yawm al akhir but he has to put forward actions for the last day cuz what's the benefit say i believe it's going to come but then you don't prepare for it no you got to prepare for it otherwise that but that mere belief doesn't benefit you you have to prepare for it you have to bring the actions and thus you see again how what how how the belief is never separated from the actions the iman is never separated from the islam it can't be You believe actions. People who believe pray five times a day, straight up. People who believe pray five times a day. Sit. Sit. 
People who believe, they articulate shahada type. Why? Because they believe. I mean, it's very clear. There's no, it's no getting around that. There's no getting around that. Okay? Ala kullin, you had to prepare for the last day. For yaman as So they would, they would do righteous good deeds. Wa yatubu min as and they would make tawbah from the evil deeds. Wa yastaidu li had al yom, and they would prepare for this day. Hada hu al maqsud. This is that which is ready. Or that which is uh, sought after, and this is that which is necessary. وَأَمَّا مُجَرَّدُ الْإِيمَانِ بِيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَلَا يَسْتَعِدُ وَلَا يَعْمَلُ لَهُ فَإِنَّهُ لَا أَسْتَفِيدُ مِنْ هَذَا الْإِيمَانِ And with regards to just purely believing in it, a pure quote-unquote belief of which a person is not prepared for it, nor does he act and get ready for it, then this is not going to benefit him, period. He will not benefit from this quote unquote belief. He will not benefit from this quote unquote belief. Naam. So we have to prepare for the last day. Then the Shaykh he gets into another point about the Yomul Qiyamah. Well I can not to walk off her huna bihmilahi ta'ala fa attafi bihad al qadar wa sala salam ala nabina muhammad wa ana adihi wa sahbihi ajma'i.